Hey there guys, Simply H here. Um, coming at you with a post-mortem video for uh, Money in the Bank. Unfortunately, um, I obviously could not get to watch it live because I was at work and um, a lot of the matches have been spoiled for me via social media. It's obvious these things are going to happen. So rather than the live video that I promised, I've put together a bit of a post-mortem video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to watch each match and then come back to you after the match with some of my thoughts. Uh, obviously the first match is Daniel Bryan versus Big Cass. And on this one, I'm pretty sure I predicted Daniel Bryan to win. I'll, we'll have a little score tally at the end to see how my predictions went compared to um, what really happened. So yeah, I'm about to watch the first one. Copy later. Oh wow, have a look at that. So Daniel Bryan did win that match um, as predicted. And I think that one was also spoiled for me anyway. So I knew from the beginning that they went that he won that match. Um, it was really, really good to see how physical Daniel Bryan can be. He really put his uh, body on the line for, for this match. Um, I see that Big Cass tried one of the Bella Twins um, rack attack moves. They called it a, um, oh, sugar. They called it some sort of, uh, oh, the torture, the torture um, rack or something like that. So yeah, I, I found that pretty funny that Big Cass is now using um, one of the Bella Twins moves. But um, the crowd didn't seem to like Big Cass too much. The Chicago crowd was very live and they definitely enjoyed Daniel Bryan and so did I. So that means for the first match, I got one point for my prediction. The segment with um, Kevin Owens and the New Day and the, the pancakes is also pretty funny. I think it's a good little touch um, to keep the entertainment value going. Jeez, this Bobby Lashley is freakishly strong. I'm so glad that I chose him as well um, for the win, obviously. So that makes um, my tally two for two at the moment. But um, yeah, it was a pretty good match. We all knew it was going to be a bit of a squash. Um, there was no way that Sammy was going to beat uh, Bobby Lashley in this one. So yeah, um, two for two. Check you later. WWE. I want to walk with Elias. <laughs> Burn it down. Here is your winner. And still the Intercontinental Champion, Seth freaking Rollins. What a match, guys. I really enjoyed that one. Um, I've said it before and I'll say it again. Elias reminds me so much of Macho Man Randy Savage. Um, I don't know if I've if I've publicly said that on YouTube or what have you, but I've definitely said it a few times to people that I've chatted to around wrestling. And um, he just, yeah, he just reminds me so much of, um, of Macho Man Randy Savage. Um, definitely a good match. I, um, very happy again because it's just three out of three now, but um, excellent match. I definitely rate this match for, for one of the best matches. Well, definitely the best match so far. Um, that I've seen on this pay-per-view. So yeah, have a good one. Oh my, oh my, oh my, are people gonna be pissed about this one? Alexa Bliss takes the money in the bank briefcase from the top of the ladder. I'm a bit disappointed too. I wanted to see... Yeah, that was our Alexa, not Alexa Bliss talking. <laughs> ah, I'll leave it in the video. Um, Becky Lynch was the one that I had chosen for this one, which means my, my score stays at three. So now it's three out of four matches called. Um, although Alexa Bliss took the briefcase, I think this was an excellent, excellent, excellent match for women as such. Um, I was very surprised by Lana. She's come a long way from, from, from in the last year, I could say. Um, she's definitely stepping up to the plate, doing much better. I would have liked to have seen Sasha Banks play a bigger part in this match, but she was a star as she always is. Um, I really like the um, Ember Moon little parts that she played. She's, she's really good at what she does. There was here and there a few timing issues, but other than that, I think she's definitely a bright star coming up. And um, uh, 
<laughs> Naomi, I, I love there was a kick that she did, like a backwards kick, almost like I want to call it a, like a scorpion kick. I really don't know what the name will be for it. Um, the commentator didn't make a big thing out of it, but I thought it was really cool to see that. Um, and yeah, if they don't have a name for it, I want to call it the scorpion kick. But yeah, so this one means that I'm still at three out of four this time, and uh, we'll see what's up next. Superman punch, Superman punch, spear, spear. That's the end of the match. The only thing I can say about this match that I did not like are the crowd. They obviously, I chose Roman Reigns because I think he's legit. I think he's a good wrestler and I think that the fans are too harsh on him. What pisses me off or that people are pissed, well Hendrick is pissed because of the CM Punk chant. Again, dude, just the other day CM Punk was telling um, the world how he, the wrestling world is the fake world or the, the, the fake place that he came from, what have you. So he don't care about his fans. Why the heck are his fans still caring about him? I mean, really, that was really not cool. So anyway, um, back to this match. Roman Reigns finished off the, the match um, as the winner. So therefore, we go for four out of five. Thank you. Cheers. Owlsworth is back. I wonder if he's back for good or just for this show. But Carmella beats Asuka, which means that I have another one right. So let's have a look what's next. Styles Clash from the top of the steps and still your WWE Champion AJ Styles. What a freaking match. That was so good. I can't believe the carnage of this match. Um, I'm probably going to get striked for this lot, but oh my gosh, did you see that? It's unbelievable. Ugh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And guess what? I get another win. People are going to be even more pissed. But before that, Ronda Rousey had a fantastic match. From the top rope, judo throws, not taking anything away from Naya, except the title because Alexa Bliss is your new SmackDown Women's Champion. Was it Raw? Sorry. Alexa Bliss is your new Raw Women's Champion. And that's it then. Braun Strowman is your monster in the bank. Thank you so much for watching. That's the end of this video. Have a fantastic one. Cheers. Bye.